Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of computer memory. Have you ever wondered how your computer stores and retrieves data lightning fast? Well, you're about to find out. At the heart of every computer's operation lies a complex but beautifully designed system called memory. It's the digital brain that makes everything possible, from running apps and games to storing your precious files. Before we get into the nitty-gritty details, let's understand the memory hierarchy. It's like a pyramid, with several layers of memory, each serving a unique purpose. Think of it as a fast food restaurant. Registers are the cashiers who take your order super quickly. Cash is like the kitchen, where frequently ordered items are prepared in a flash. RAM is the storage area where your meal is temporarily kept, and storage devices are like the restaurant's warehouse where ingredients are stored long term. Now, let's dive into the binary magic that makes memory tick. Memory stores data using binary code, a series of zeros and ones. It's like the computer's language. But we often use hexadecimal or decimal numbers to make it more human friendly. Computers have different types of memory, and it's important to know them. We have RAM, which is fast but temporary, it's like your computer's scratchpad. Then there's ROM, which is non volatile and stores essential instructions for booting. Storage wise, we have SSDs, super fast and reliable, and HDDs, the classic spinning drives with vast storage capacity. So, how does your computer store and access data so quickly? RAM acts as a bridge between storage and the CPU. When you open a file or run a program, data is moved from storage to RAM for quick access by the CPU. And there you have it. A glimpse into the fascinating world of computer memory. It's the backbone of your digital experience, allowing your computer to work its magic. From registers to storage devices, it's all about managing data efficiently and ensuring your computer runs smoothly. If you found this video informative and intriguing, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech insights. And as always, if you have questions or topics you'd like us to cover, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video.